to get up and go to the studio today. You can go help me. I completely forgot to tell you guys, like, I don't know, I didn't like even do an intro or anything and be like, hey, this is what we're doing. Um, and I, you've already seen me do this part. So I got the 70 shoot taken down. She's all down and empty. And now I'm gonna take the Playboy Bunny shoot um, set because I'm also gonna use this for burlesque, I'm pretty positive. So I'm gonna move this over there and get that as a permanent setup. And one thing I did not show you that I was doing, let me turn this thing, not that you're gonna be able to see because, you know, catch you on cinematic, but I changed out this uh, backdrop holder. It was just like this little, it's these little collapsible things. You can see how much taller the new one is. And the reason I did that is because we're gonna kind of make like a cool corner where when you come in, we can do before and afters of your hair and makeup glam thing. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and I'm going to get back to work on this. I'm gonna show you what I do as I go. I have another photographer who might be coming by today who is going to look at some stuff. I'm gonna try to sell some stuff off, get rid of some things, cause I've got like a lot of stuff that's unnecessary. So we're gonna try to get rid of the unnecessaries. And yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now, getting all this done. So we're gonna start with this. I'm talking out loud to you to end to myself. We're gonna do this. Then I've gotta get the front done. That's gonna be, hmm. Molly's on her way. Molly is um, Emily's best friend. She assists me sometimes and she comes and helps occasionally and she just is gonna help. She's not working today. She just like, if you're gonna come do this, I'm coming to help. So I was like, okay, cool, love that. So she's gonna come help me and I'm going to work on the front. That front is gonna be a freaking dirty word. I have the kids with me. I have Solomon and Olivia. I'm sure you guys saw that, them helping me out. But Emily's gonna come clean out her desk so that it's easier for me to move and then she's gonna take them and skedaddle so that way they're not sitting here bored out of their mind. Dolly's also here. You also saw that. She's in her kennel right now because she won't quit peeing in my floor. <laughs> she's being bad today. So she's laying in the kennel and yeah, let's get going. Let me quit rambling. Let's go. Okay, so change plans. I was going to hang up the red backdrop and make this into like a burlesque, Playboy Bunny, like whatever, whatever red, red area. Um, and then I got to thinking about it and I like to change that spot out some. So instead, I just laid everything down. I went to Walmart yesterday and got an extra one of these. So I have two of them. And I thought to myself, why? nail it into the wall when I can get a some like brackets. And so that way I can change it out and not continue to put nails on the wall. You know what I mean? Think about the knob. Um, wait, <gasps> this has a holder on it. Just kidding. Oh, I ain't gonna go anywhere. Anyway, so that's what I'm about to do. Just kidding. A few moments later. Okay, second update. They only gave me one in there. I guess it's to hold the middle because that's a, that makes sense. 
Listen, y'all, I've never claimed to be smart. So that's a tension rod. And I was like, oh, it's a tension rod, like whatever. And then I pulled this out, I was like, oh, they've got hooks. They have one hook to hold in the middle, in case your tension rod. Anyway, so we're gonna wait <laughs> on that room. Okay, so I've not been able to like really show you, show you what I've been doing um, up until this point. I actually stopped working and didn't even start working on the front because Emily showed up to pick up the kids and then a bunch of other people showed up to drop stuff off, pick things up. Like I'm trying to get rid of things. So I'm kind of getting distracted. So I've not really been showing you, but I actually am disassembling the dressing room and turning the baby room into a dressing room. So I'm in the middle of working on that right now and I have to go take my hubby lunch. I knew this morning, I told him this morning, I was like, don't worry about packing a lunch. I will be at the studio anyway. And so I will come bring you food. So that's where I'm heading right now. Day two. Good morning. I forgot to start the camera when I was putting all the lingerie up. This is just the plus size section. I have another section over here that's just as big. That is straight sizes because I'm just separating them by plus and straight. <sighs> Holy cow, the amount of lingerie. I'm past 400 pieces, past 400 pieces. I forgot to um, let you guys watch me build this dressing room right here. I forgot to let you watch me do the front. I'm about 95% done with the front. I still have like some final things done. We got the couch delivered yesterday. I am so annoyed. <laughs> so annoyed over the couch so when i saw it on facebook marketplace right the guy was like uh, my mother passed away i need to get rid of some of this furniture the couch is in great condition no animals no smoking no nothing and i was like cool love that it was cute it was kind of like a white cream color with pink roses all over it literally like my logos so i was like okay perfect this is what i wanted so i get it um, I have to have somebody go pick it up for me. So I did not see it when it was being bought. They bring it here. He walks it through the door and I'm immediately like. So this uh, couch love seat is kind of like a tannish, dirty yellowy color. And it looks like a cat or a herd of cats have had a field day and just scratched the shit out of this thing. Like it's frayed on all the edges. It looks nothing like the picture. I'm so steady. So yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'm just gonna get it covered maybe, but for now it is what it is. I don't have, I don't have time to do anything about it. I literally have a client in the morning. So that means I don't have an option but to finish today and I have two hours left to get this done before I need to take John lunch again because he, he rolled over this morning. He said, are you going to be in town to get lunch? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, I think I want another Mexican pizza. <laughs> so instead of packing sandwiches and stuff, I'm going to go get him a Mexican pizza. So, um, yeah, I'm going to finish this up. Uh, I have wrecked the storage closet wrecked the main room. Hi, mama. What was I talking about? You just whacked in me. You just whacked in me. You won't, or you won't go bed. How come you ain't cuddling mama no more? You see, be mama. Um, you see, be my little tay tot. So I guess I'm holding Dolly for a minute while we talk. So anyway, um, I've got the dressing room almost completed. I've got a handful of things left to do about that. Uh, the baby side, I don't know. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. Hey, don't eat my hair. Don't eat my hair. Um, I've wrecked the loft room. I've wrecked the storage room. And what was, what was uh, the old dressing room, because we're gonna turn that into a permanent cloud wall. Every time I get a cloud wall, I swear and be damned that I'll never do a cloud wall again. But they're so pretty and I have angel wings, like it's so pretty. So they're always like in the way and I need new spaces for sets. So I'm always like, eh, but this one, I have a new idea for one. So we're gonna see how it works out. Um, so probably getting a cloud wall. 
But for right now, it's just a big empty space. And that's perfectly fine because I'm just going to store some stuff in there, no big deal. So, I have to get back to work. You're so cute and I could hold it all day long. I could hold you all day. She loves to be held like this. This is the biggest brat you will ever meet. Biggest, biggest, biggest brat you ever meet. Don't they? What do you do, Mimi? She loves to be kissed. Mm, and then tattled. You toot. You toot. Her needs her hair shaved because she's got no Nigel Thornberry cheeks. <laughs> Smash. Okay, let's do the work. Who did that? How can you, how can you work? How can you work with a witty teddy tot like this? How can you work? Don't flash them your tootie. That's, that's pornography. You gotta go back to mammal. Love you so much. Okay, let's get back to work. Holy crap. Okay, I'm done. I still have to finish that. I'm gonna run by Walmart today. Look at my hair. I'm gonna run by Walmart today and grab the hook things that I need for that. But this back is done. Dolly Mama, I didn't forget you. Um, my office area is now done. The viewing area is so pretty. And then this is all finished. It's so pretty, I'm so excited. It only took me two days, you know, two days and two carloads of garbage. Two carloads worth of garbage because I threw a bunch of old stuff away and I've sold stuff that somebody still has not come caught. Like there's so much that I got rid of. So now I'm gonna go get Dolly out of the kennel. She was in the kennel because we were going in and out and I didn't want her to run off. Um, and we're gonna go feed John lunch and then we're going to go to Walmart to get those hooks and then I'm gonna go home and cook dinner and clean house and all the things. What you? Yeah. What you? Oh, good treat. girl. You're so smart, mama. You know to say treat. You know how to work your buttons. We're home now. I have the studio finished. I am cooking dinner. I'm making fried potatoes, cornbread, bold cabbage, Polish sausages, macaroni and cheese, and pinto beans. So I'm like making true Southern food. Cause I was just in the mood to cook. I don't cook a lot because I'm always so freaking busy. But today I had time. That's fair. Um, yeah, we got the studio finished. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog tomorrow. I have a client that I'm pretty positive is gonna let me film her session. We're gonna ask. We're gonna ask. So if she says yes, you're gonna get to see what a session's like. So until tomorrow, love you, bye. So editing me realized when I told you in the last vlog that I caught you up on everything that's been happening in the past four months. I totally forgot to tell you about this. Well, if you need a little bit of a spicy gift for your loved one this Valentine's Day or anytime really maybe as a wedding gift, you're going to want to watch this interview. I'm with a very talent, talented photographer, Cherish Hope. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having me. Of Cherish Hope Photography Studio and Brianna, who is a client of yours. It's yes. really fun talking about uh, the boudoir experience and the photography experience. Talk to me about what you do and why you do it. So I actually got started by complete accident. Um, I was doing filming for football. Wow. <laughs> Bought a camera, had intended to do birth photography, 
and a friend asked me if I would do a boudoir session for her and I don't did that and the very moment that I did it I immediately knew I was like I love this seeing the way that she felt about herself when oh. she walked out the door I was like, this is what I'm meant to do. That is so true. I would imagine there's an opportunity for you to be very encouraging and supportive of a woman oh, when sure. she might be feeling vulnerable to make her feel beautiful and then the finished product. Yes. So talk to me about your experience with this brand and why you loved, um, loved this whole thing. So a lot of women, they don't even realize it, but some women and I mean, everybody in general, their insecurities make them a prisoner of their own body. So true. So, um, to really see people flourish and really find the true beauty in their bodies and stuff, it's the most healing experience you could ever do for yourself. So I'd imagine it's not your typical Olin Mills posing where you're no, no like this. <laughs> no Talk to me about the shoot. What happened? So our studio is an all-inclusive studio. So when you walk in the door, the very first thing that happens is we have a hair and makeup artist on staff. Right. They do your full glam for you. I have all of the outfits ranging from size small to 6XL. And so it's an American 6XL too, so it'll fit you. Um, we make sure that you feel good from the moment you walk in to the moment you walk out. And one of the things that I do offer that typically is not offered is we do same day photos. Wow. So as soon as you're done, we send you for lunch. And then when you come back, you can choose through the photos that we've taken and they're there, right there, ready to go. What about the privacy and discretion of the photo shoot? There, is there a whole staff in the room with you? Or no. Is there a talk no, so it's just me, um, myself, and my assistant. I have a personal assistant, and she's just there to, if I'm up on a ladder, like, trying to look down at you, she can move your hair for you and stuff, and she's also there to help you, like, if your strap is messed up and I'm messing with a camera, she's, she's there to help out. But you meet her right as soon as you walk in the door too. That's amazing. I would imagine that personality is very important with work like this. For sure. What was your favorite part about the whole experience? Probably the healing, really. I oh. mean, it's just the, the viewpoint you get when you leave, it, it feels like you're like Rihanna from the Super Bowl or something. I love that. <laughs> and then stuff before you even saw the picture, she mm -hmm. probably makes you feel very beautiful. Yes. And then when you saw them, talk to me about that. Oh, it's, it's life changing, honestly. It gives yourself a, a chance to see um, the viewpoint of what the world has of you. Right. Which most people don't see themselves that way at all. So. It's almost like every woman should, should mm -hmm. go through this. Too. You know, For sure. body shaming is so common and, and people feel unattractive. And I imagine this makes you feel very beautiful. Yeah. And that's your favorite part about this? I, I would say so. And the thing about it is, is I have a couple of things I always tell clients. Number one, most importantly, is a lot of the things that you feel negatively about toward your own body was something that was told to you because people can't sell you something if you feel great about yourself. I love that. So that's one. And then the other thing is I love to turn around and show them the raw camera. Right. Because I like to tell them, this is how you actually look. This is what you look like. Not what you have up here. This is who you are. And most of the time, they cry. <laughs> oh. Yeah, most There's of the time a lot of crying. A lot of times it's like little therapy sessions. People tell us about their whole life. I mean, it's, it's a lot of fun. How is business with this? Are, 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 is your phone blowing off the hook? Always, always. Right now, um, we are currently booking all the way into October. We do have some openings scattered throughout the year, but for the most part, we stay pretty booked. Do you do on-site boudoir photography, like the picture of the river there? Like, Yeah, so that's actually a, a mini shoot. So what we do is we have, we actually offer three different things. So you can come in for a regular traditional boudoir session in studio. Um, you can come in and, you know, pick, depending on the package that you want. And then the other thing that we offer is the mini session. So it's kind of like a taste of the bigger sessions, just in case you're nervous, because some people don't want to invest in that. And then the last one is themed sessions. So I have like the 1970s, we do like on site, we go to waterfalls, we do all these little traveling shoots and you can do those too. What if someone wanted on a football field? <laughs> yeah, anything they want. Can if you can happen. imagine it, I will give it to you. I love that. Yeah. This is a refreshingly, you know, wonderful interview to learn about how you have women feel better about themselves. Yeah. Thank you all so much for being here. Cherish Hope Photography. That's easy. CherishHopePhotography.com. Yeah. Sounds like yes. you have a Facebook page, Cherish Hope Photo. And I wish you all the success in the world. And thank, thank you, you for being brave and being here today, Brianna. Thank you. Go check them out. CherishHopePhotography.com.